I'm convinced that one day Wham will help bring down the Thatcher government. Yes, we shouldn't have any trouble finding someone to fire our young guns for us tonight. What do you mean by that? Sex, George. Sex. With groupies. We could put our young guns into young girls' flanges. Well, that's why we're doing this, isn't it? Well, that and to affect social and political change, of course. Yeah. Yeah, let's have lots of sex with girls. Exactly. <laughs> <laughs> Don't kid yourself, George. It's Michael. I know you're one of them. What do you mean? Who the hell are you? I'm boy George from the Culture Club. Well, sorry, old boy, but we've got some pressing funny appointments, and I can't even tell if you're a man or a woman. My clothes are not your concern, Wham. I'm well noted for preferring a cup of tea to any kind of sexual activity, but I can detect the scent of a homosexual from a mile off. Ugh. I put it to you, George Michael, that you are a gay. What are you talking about? Oh, I know a gay when I see one. I'm looking at one right now. People like you, boy George. You see a man in tight shorts, fake tan and blow-dried hair and you immediately slap on a label. Yeah, gay. No, boy George. Straight. I like pints and cars and kissing girls. Kissing girls with willies, you mean. <laughs> Shut up. Oh, he's not worth it. <laughs> I don't know where he gets off calling you gay. You're the straightest man I've ever met. Oh, bloody boy George. He's made my quiff collapse now. Thanks, Andy.